my life. If them both can do it, I'm sure you guys can do it. Come on. Yeah, that's right. yeah. One yeah. each, watch. Yeah. Just because it's a good technique, that's all. Very good. Okay? Right, first of all, fellas, most importantly, we welcome Santi uh, to the club. So, Santi. Uh, thank you all, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. So, I'm starting, I think, on Thursday. So, thank you, thank you all. Rather than the rugby meeting, we'll try to do something different just to get you excited a little bit. So, we've got a special guest in today, Jack. Very special, Marcus. Can we just start like a slow round of applause, boys. So please give it up for James Chisholm look like the real Sean Dyke. <laughs> Three lads who live here, Tom Lorde, myself, and uh, Luke Northmore. Come in. He's oh, gone past him. Uh, yes! I got a WhatsApp message from Tom Lorde to say um, that he was also moving here and whether I wanted to live with him. So then I replied, I was going to message you exactly the same thing, but I bought it. <laughs> I've never met, met the bloke before in my life. I'd had seen him on TV a couple of times playing for Exeter, but no idea if he was a good bloke or not, whether to say yes or no, and said yes, and we're now pretty good mates. Pretty sure it must happen all over the country with different clubs, um, lads who've never met each other, ending up sharing a house and becoming really good mates. It's the same with uh, Luke Northmore, we all get on really well. Um, it's nice having a three bed, because three of us can go have an, I think well, the first ever thing we did was Stereotypical Nando's get to know each other. Is it the little cupboardy bit? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why he put it in. What is reffing? The ref's bald. The ref's bald. We're on a meter here. Oh, and, yeah. Um, we ran out and we had to top up, and the landlord did send us a message saying that we had to do it, but we happened to have a week off at the same time. So we were all at home doing our own things, thinking, oh, it's a bit right, we just didn't sort out when we get back. But the electricity actually got cut off. <laughs> really? <laughs> we had like 40 thick and, uh, chicken thighs in there. Thick yeah. thighs. Thick and I've been Costco the week before. Freezer. Oh, did you cook them all? Or? No. no it's it's tough. That's tough, man. They've been, been defrosted in the, in the freezer for about four days. Oh. 
I'm like a father figure to these young men. And I like making friends, so... You like talking. I love talking to people. I yeah, think the yeah. first time you come round, you didn't tell anyone, you just knocked on the window. Yeah, I just turned... Four pints of milk and some tea. Yeah, so I just turned it. B&Q. I turned yeah, up. Oh, I took the lads to B&Q and we yeah. bought fans, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We're getting all the shots soon, aren't we? Mm. As well. <laughs> There's some interesting facts about it. Go on. You have any? It's got an incredibly high population of Nepalese people. Um, and there's a Gurkha church because the British Army are based there. Who are Nepalese people? People from Nepal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those people. The only place I could think of was Napoli, and that just didn't make sense. No, that's in Italy, isn't it? Yeah. Is so it we take food back from the club because it's so nice. And it's just way better than what we could ever cook. Especially yeah. me, because I'm an idiot. No, you do all right, mate. You make some nice I things. had a chicken breast last <laughs> night. Yeah, but plain yeah. chicken breast and mango chutney. It was revolting. <laughs> oh, mate, that's class. Absolutely revolting. Yeah! That's nice and cool. Yeah! That's the game. It's good to see Harley again. Yeah, it's good. You excited to be back, boys? It's good, isn't it? I was only part time when I started, and um, just three days a week, and I didn't have to do match days. But then after a couple of years, um, it changed. I became full-time and have done this ever since. I missed one year, a slight accident in the gym. I keeled over and died in the gym at SSP. Um, so I was off for a year after that. I had a defibrillator fitted. Um, but other than that, we've been going ever since. Oh, going back to a few, a few years ago, Kerry Jones, Tani Fuga, when they were about, Ollie Cohn, they were a good bunch of blokes. Um, but now they're all good fun. The kids coming through are, are good fun. They, um, they're quite sociable and will come and have coffee and chat about their ups and downs and coping with full-time rugby, bless them. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. Hey, sorry, boys. Oh, yeah. Yes, dude. This is my life. <laughs> Mike Lancaster, one of the best hello. medics in the Premiership. Very kind. Best kit, man. Jeez, I do lie. <laughs> <laughs> chat for about five minutes and give yourselves a score out of ten. <coughs> okay, if you didn't play, fellas, and you're there watching, give some feedback. We're in this together. Yeah, I think it's from the side. I reckon. I thought I could do it. Excellent. So, fellas, from, from the coaches uh, group, really, really pleased with the effort, eh? Like, first game in, we haven't done a lot of, uh, a lot of contact. We've got ourselves very well conditioned, but the first time under competitive pressure to show the kind of fortitude that we did in defence, uh, to show the results we did uh, in some aspects about funding, to show our attack shape comes to the level it did, to see some of the special things, Gabs, brilliant. Okay, it's a real good starting point. Okay, I'll we'll just keep building from that. Yeah. 